joined by Tom Williams after this afternoon's 2-1 win against Whitton Town. Tommy, after last Saturday, Pico missing that penalty. How pleased were you that he got the winning goal today? Yeah, really pleased for him. I thought he worked hard today. Um, and um, no, we, we're delighted that we've got the three points. Um, I think it was a big three points, obviously looking at results um, elsewhere as well. Um, and you know, it's, it's all about perform uh, points at this stage rather than performances. And you know, it wasn't uh, it wasn't the prettiest of games, but we um, we, did, we got the points, which uh, as I say was uh, much needed. We did create a lot of chances again today, particularly in the first half. We spoke last week about our conversion ratio. We created a lot of Lewis, but didn't win the game. We did win today, but are you worried that we're we're making the chances, but not scoring as many goals as we should? Um, it's always nice to obviously making sure that you're creating chances. I think um, you know there's a problem if we're not creating, but we are creating chances. Um, but I think you know we're just lacking that little bit of cutting edge. Um, I think one or two um, personnel. Um, I think you know he obviously worked hard when he was on the pitch today, and I think you know he needs just one to go in off his backside, and I think that that's him up and running again. But. Um, like I say, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with uh, obviously creating chances. I thought we created a lot today, and um, you know, if we if we if we take those chances, you know, we win more comfortably. That's for sure. Um, and before Pico scored his goal, he got booked for, for an alleged dive. What was your take on that? Um, my first reaction was that I thought he was tripped. You know, I think he was through on goal. Goal, and I didn't. I think he wasn't going down. Um, so I, from from where I was standing, I thought it was a harsh kick. You know. um, Arguably, it was a mistake from Toffrey that led to the goal last week, but let's not dwell on that. Let's dwell on his save here today at a 2 1. What an amazing save again. We keep saying it about Toffrey. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's, he's got that in his locker, you know. I've nothing but praise for him, really. He's, um, he works hard, and, you know, his performances have has, um, has been good this season. And I think when he does make a mistake, I think it's, it's highlighted because he's, he very rarely makes them, you know. So. Um, now pleased with him, and um, you know he's uh, obviously his confidence, and that is it's, it's good for that when you make saves like that. And um, like I say, yeah, really pleased for him. Josh Casey played centre midfield today. He said that it's a position that he wants to play in, um, and he repaid that faith by scoring the first goal. Yeah, obviously we had Steve Laidler out, and um, you know I thought his, his energy and drive, um, you know, is always there with, with Josh wherever you play him. Um, obviously playing that left hand side, he's um, infectious in his in his work rate and his and his pressing. Um, we, we brought him inside today, and he, he done exactly that again. Um, took his goal well, and um, it's nice actually because. You know, we talk about um, chances being missed all the time with, with, with forwards and that, but I think as a group we, we're not taking chances. I think um, you know we need to add goals, and that's been our problem this season. I think if we adding goals in other areas, I think obviously we um, you know we, we're sitting higher up the table. But it has been a story of our season. I've said it, you know, I said it last week, and about taking chances, and you know, so you know, I'm pleased for Josh that he got that today. And when other people are back from injury and suspension, is Josh going to cause a selection headache in that in that centre midfield area? Um, well, you always you always want selection headaches, really. They're they're, they're good headaches. So um, you know, having having those options. Um, so you know, we'll we'll see how everybody is this week in terms of knocks and um, injuries and things. And um, you know, it's a, it's a big game going into next week now at Met Police. Oh, you're right, it's a big game going into Cameron. If we can win next week, um, we could potentially go up the table and maybe make a playoff position. Is it make or break next season, or is that a bit, bit dramatic to say that? Um, <clears throat> it's a six pointer next week. There's it, it's no, no bones about it, you know. Um, it, it, it's, it's huge for us. Um, I've said, said, you know, before today's game, we had nine games to go. We've, we, I feel maximum points were so important today. We've got that. Um, and I think you know we 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 need to go there and, and get a get a win, and we'll be going there doing that. We'll we'll be positive in everything we do this week, building up to that, and um, make sure that we um, you know we we put a performance in, and um, making sure that everybody's mentally ready as well. And we know that it's we know it's going to be tough. They're a good side. Um, they've got some ex K's players as well. I think that so makes it a little bit tasty, and you know quite a local derby as well. So. It's got all the um, ingredients for a, for, a, for a big game, and hopefully, you know, we get a good support come down because that's what we need. Um, inject a bit of um, uh, a tempo into the game, and I think once you know we get uh, the fans behind us, I think that'll help us push on. Good luck next week, and we'll play today. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Cheers.